Hey everybody, welcome to Boosting Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. And we had another beautiful campground, and as you can see what time of year it is, with the leaves on the ground, so what time of year is it? It's winter. I thought you said winter. <laughs> it's fall winter. It's fall, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's probably about 75 degrees out here. But today's video is about setting up patches. Well, not setting up patches, which is our Aspen Classic Camper, is what we have in the inside when we set up for the campground. Right. Because a question came up where somebody wanted to see what we pack in the inside. And if you haven't seen a video about us setting up, we set it up in our house when we was back in California. So make sure you check that video so you can see how easy it is to set up. And take down, yes. But. But before we show you the inside, we're gonna show you the layout of our campground, our site where we are. Matter of fact, we're at Buckhorn Campground in Oklahoma. Yes, at Lake Artbuckle in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Sulphur, Oklahoma. Yes. yes. So we're gonna give you a campsite tour right quick. Yes. We have a lantern hook, which states campground rules. You can see that. We have a fire pit, which is pretty clean. I so know, we're going to use that. Compared to a lot of fights yes. that we went to. It also has a table. This is where we're going to eat our dinner. And what I like about this table is wheelchair accessible, which is easy to cook on. We put our stove yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to cook there. That way we don't have to really take out our camp kitchen. Right. OK. That's the one Where to next. And it has electric. It's an electric box right here. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And it also has water, which I'm about to hook up our water filter right now. So we can have filtered water. It's gonna be tricky. Okay, now what you come here for. So what we're gonna do, I gotta unhook patches from Big Easy. And a couple of things we gotta do that we do. We have a basically a leveler that we purchase at a hardware store. And this is to level it off. So and today we're keeping it on the concrete. And we have a our camp session, our we call it a living section that we're gonna be doing. And so once I unhook it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we determine where the layout gonna go. Okay, so let me unhook it right now. We use rock straps to tie down our cooler. If you don't have rock straps, straps it's a good investment. It's really? not going anywhere. Look at my baby strong carry that over there by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Right there, right there. Okay, let's get this up. Before we do any any leveling, obviously we have to put the legs down. So let's see right. what it look like. What Cake's doing now is just kind of removing the straps to the cover. So we have to take the cover off now that it's all leveled out. Cover is folded. We have a table. Table for now. Just in case we get to a campground and there aren't any tables. So today we, we're just going to use this table as a prep table. Now what I was doing was checking to make sure there are no pointy objects like hard rocks or anything that was left behind by someone else that could damage the bottom of the, the patches. Once we unfold our tent, just the far, just the, just the limit, the far just is gonna go. We're gonna unfold it, set it up real quick, and then bring you on the inside, bring the camera on the inside to let you know what we camp with, what we pack on the inside is the question that a couple of people ask, even though it was a long time. We're just getting around to the video. This is basically our quick setup. If we was setting up in the rain or just staying one day and not 
putting anything else up, we are set and ready to go. Even though the video is probably sped up, we don't want to waste your time with that because you can actually go check out our video when we actually took our time and set it up in a rush situation. Right. So here's what happens once we're in the inside. We got a, two poles to put up here and get it all the way erect. Red the mattresses out. Lift this up. Let it go. And the next thing we do is we have another floor cover that we put down. So we got to move the camera out to put this floor cover down. Right. You move the camera out. So we're taking all kind of precaution to make sure there's no damage on our tent floor. Not to mention, it give us two things to walk on and cushion. And since we're not setting the whole thing up, we're gonna have three. Since we're not setting the entire full setup, we're gonna have three because we're gonna put the green carpet on the inside. Right. So the next thing we need to do is level out the opening because we bought ours at i don't know how many years we had it but it was in 2005 pretty old and the opening is kind of sagging i'll put the cap the camera yeah. on the outside and let you see this that we manufacture but with pc pvc pipes see these are the pipes we manufacture two inch pipe they go on here and then once we put it up you'll see this rise higher up high and we're ready to finish putting everything up together. We're gonna put this together, then we're gonna bring you guys back in the inside. We're ready to count. Right. However, there's some other things that we need to do. Let that down so we get a little bit more light in. So we're gonna bring it in the inside. Here's the greatest thing about the Aspen, the Broncos, and I forgot the other one that Mr. McStash actually had. All the storage is in here. The table that we took out, not a big deal. Anything that we have going on, not a big deal. Nothing's gonna get wet. Everything remains dry. So let's open it up and show what's in the inside. So we have a light that we bought just in case we set it up at night so we can see it on the inside. And on this side, where Kate just got that from. I have rich step stool. My step stool. Because he needs a step stool to step up in the bed. Y'all know she's short. When we put the mattress. <laughs> Trying try to, try to talk about I need a step stool. Y'all know she's short. This side is all the stuff that we need to go on the bed and set up camp. This side is where the heavy stuff is so we can have it right by the wheel and in the front, press it down on the tongue. And these are the things that we really don't need if we just stand one night. So right. all our bedding and everything we need right. if we stand more than one night. So I'm gonna get a close up while we take all that out. And hope the camera pick it up. Let me get a little closer. This should be good. Here we go. So if we was, since we have the electric, we have our electric cards. We'll set that up later. And what we normally do is just take all the bedding and pillow out from this side. And it's a tarp, we just, just came from a campsite. We just feel like putting it at the bottom. Normally the tarp would be at the bottom because we really don't use the tarp for much. If we get to a boondocking site and we don't have any cover, then we'll use that tarp. Since we have a table, it's unlikely we're gonna be using our camp kitchen, which is this. We'll show you what it's like. Actually, we got videos where we actually yeah, had it set up. Yeah, we had it set up. So you guys probably seen this already. The next thing we have in here, well, that's rich chaps. Well, we don't need that. We use these bags here to flatten down our pillows, and we have two blankets in here. So this blanket, well, we put this back here until it's time to make the bed up. 
we have a mattress, an air mattress. So normally, we'll have a king size air mattress, but we move down to a queen size air mattress. So this is a queen size, king size pad right there, but we have the queen size so we could be more cozy. <laughs> I like it. We have our ladder. Like it. Okay. like Cake said, we just throw all the stuff over there until we're ready to set it up later on. The air pump. Okay. You can have an air mattress by the air pump. Right. <laughs> okay, we blow. And, no. and normally, this is what we are used to for a comfortable day. So now we're gonna pull a lot of things out because we're here for four days. Right. So grab the other small chair. The stool, this one. I'll show you how this set up later. We have our old trusty heater, because it is winter. And we're gonna put this out. And plug it in so we can stay yes. nice and warm. In addition to our electric heater that we have here, we also wear battery operated heated pajamas. So if we get up in the middle of the night and go to the restroom, then we'll be nice and toasty using the restroom. Don't and what do we carry in the summertime that we don't have today? When it's hot outside. Our air condition. Yes, let's yes. show you the air condition for later. So. This is all we need to pull out for now, so we need to get the kitchen set up also. Right, get the toilet. Because I'm not getting up in the middle of the night and walk way down there to the bathroom. No, no, no. Here's our shelf. We just hang this up, and you'll see that later once we finish. And we have a shelf. We normally have two, but I don't know what happened to the other. We can't find you. I think somebody. we left it by uh, Tanya. Uh, by our sister house? Yeah. So that's going up later. Now, obviously, we have cuppy holes where we can stuff things out. in. So. We have a little a broom. So you need a broom when you're camping to sweep all the leaves and dirt and dust and whatever else come inside your tent. So hold on, let me get a little closer so you can see inside as we're taking stuff out. And our dustpan, I there need to go. clean it. I think we need the light on? Um, hmm. Let me see. Not really. Yeah, we good. The camera can pick it up without the light, because okay. I don't want the light shining and you can't see it. Okay. Grab my pajamas from over there. I'm gonna take them out, so we won't have to go in here once we set up. But these are my little battery operated pajamas that I was talking about. Right here, different levels of heat setting on it, and it keeps you very toasty. And in this red bag, we carry uh, two hammers and our stakes when we have to stake stuff down. And I don't know if it's gonna be any wind tonight, but we're gonna stake our stuff down anyway. And we keep it on the red bag so it's easy to find just in case we have to go back in it because once we empty everything out, we still use it for storage. And look, this is what the red bag is. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna just put this outside, baby. We didn't have our air condition with us, but we do have our battery operated fan, which keeps us cool during the summer months and the hot days. You can work, it works by batteries and AC plug. So, but we don't need this today because it's winter time. But I'm gonna move it out the way so Rich can pull out the other stuff. Oh, one thing I wanna show. Well, we normally carry our shower with us. We actually left the shower by your sister house. Yes. But these are invaluable. They're scrubs, scrubbies, I guess how I would pronounce it, rinse yep. free bad sponges. And they really, really soak up to where you can actually, and we just warm water in our, our bucket. coffee our bucket and then we pour it on a sponge and it's really soap up I and mean, you can actually really get a good bath with these things and not have to worry about being funky for seven days if we do <laughs> any boondocking. That's what we do. We use this when we actually at a free camp spot for no water. So since we don't need it today because we do have showers where we are now, we just kind of leave that in there for now. Yeah, we put it on that side. Now, in here, this right here, 
that right there, right there. That's our pantry. Yes. That's what we'll call it. All the stuff for the kitchen, and I'm gonna put this outside and set it up. Uh, just set it out to so what, everything that we need is in it. Matter of fact, Perfect. first of all, let me grab this first. Our stove. Yeah. So try to keep everything organized, and we set up the same way every time. I'm just put right. this on the table over He's here. He's gonna do that, and we also. Because we learned a very valued lesson. We carry. But um, wait, let me see. Let me turn it this way for you. <laughs> Bear spray? Bear spray. We let have me two take of them, them now, right? Yeah, it was two. One have a little handy dandy case that you could strap it to your your belt when hiking. This one doesn't. And that bag is basically miscellaneous, miscellaneous. items. Let me get that and put it on this side. Oh, actually, we can leave it there. Leave it there, to. yeah. Also, but, we, hold on, take the kitchen out. Take the pantry out and put it on the table. And this has everything in it. Our pots, right. pans. Food. Food. Well, non-perishable food because we want to take stuff with us and we park somewhere, even in a right. parking lot. And right. Animals will be trying to scrape out our things. We also have a collapsible bucket, which comes in pretty handy, which I don't think we're going to need it for this camping trip because we are right by the water source. So I'm just going to leave this in here. And basically, that's all we need for the day. That's it. Let me uh, tilt the camera lift further so they can see what else in here. Oh, these Garden Pro. Holes, just in case we decide to put up the tarp or if we put up our side shelter or the front shelter, which we probably put the front one up today. You think? This is the one that's attached to the tent. Or put the white one up, I don't care which one. And where we have something We'll decide center. on that when we get to it. But we also have a first aid kit in here. Yeah. Yes, we have two first aid kits. Yeah. Always carry a first aid kit. This is the biggest one. And then each one of us have a first aid kit on our bike. Okay. Now, Kate put up the water filtration on the thing, on the, what do you call that thing, the pump? The water pump, the water. And here's what we have. We've been using this for several years. It's survival filtration. It's a little battery powered and you can actually use electric. So when we out boondocking, we get water directly from a stream, a lake, a river, it doesn't matter and we would have filtered water. We had right. water tested with this before and it was absolutely 100% safe to drink. So if you're looking at any filtration system survival, when we camp in campgrounds like this, we really, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, there we go. We camp <laughs> in these type of campgrounds, we really don't need it because we just hook what we have to the pole, but we used to carry a five gallon We used to carry a five gallon water jug, jug and then we would put this in it and right. filter that water out into our bottles, use it for cooking. And sometimes even though we have a filtration system on the pump, we still do this sometimes because if the water sometimes. tastes differently or tastes funny, we'll use this also. Right. When we was doing the survival courses, we would teach people to use iodine tablets, two drops of bleach per gallon of water just to get your water to just to taste better right. once it's filtered out. Or if you can't filter it out, then the iodine tab is help. Then the, we used to, the lights, the UV lights used to help and it kills all these parasites that will get in your system and hurt you. Yeah. Oh, we got a boop load of toilet tissue because we do a lot of free, free, free camping with no restrooms. So we got to bring our toilet tissue with us. Well, and as a matter of fact, let me get this one. Let you get that one that I can't reach. Oh no, I don't want to fall. <laughs> oh no. There we go. There it is. Okay, we we done with that particular part. We showed you what was on the inside of patches. I'm gonna show you how we set up our bedding. I'm just moving things out of the way so I can get the, the air mattress opened and inflated. And I won't be able to inflate it until I get my battery back up. 
and my bike and the saddle bag. Rich gonna go get his buddy. But there you have it. The hair mattress is on the bed. But while Rich is getting that, I'm gonna take our pillows out the bed. Rich is asking me what side I keep my battery pack on to blow up the air mattress. There it is. Thank you. This is what we use. This is a portable jumper starter for motorcycles, cars, SUVs, diesels. We use it on everything. We <laughs> like, have... uh, like Frank <laughs> like Hot Sauce? Like Frank Hot Sauce, yeah. <laughs> Put that boot on everything. <laughs> so, I can even use this battery to power the fan that I was speaking about earlier. Need to stool for a second. Not to get on the bed, but to hang this up. No. Yeah, that's to get on the bed. I'm yeah, just trying whatever. to it's about not to get on the bed. You're just trying to keep it clean now. <laughs> and there's our shelf. We store our stuff. We actually had the big one, two big ones on each side, but we decided to go to the small one. But Cake was talking about getting another big one so we can actually have them on the side since we got a queen size air mattress and got rid of those king size, we have shelves on the side. So I'm gonna tell you, this is a inner tech pump. It's gonna be noisy. I'm gonna do the electric. Go ahead. And there you have it. The mattress is all inflated and it's ready to be slept in. That's our bed. So the air mattress is up, it's ready to be slept in, but we have some added blankets that we put on there. Of course we have, y'all know what this is. Let me see, can you see that? You can read that? You have it one upside down? No, it's playing. not upside down. <laughs> it's our Boots and G's Rider blanket. And we just put up on, put this on top because I don't like the feeling of the mattress on my skin and I don't like the sheets either. Okay, electric working. Copy? Copy. Okay. Quick cast question. Yes? Putting up the uh, easy up or just a thing? I think just the thing probably be right, I'll put that up. fine. Yeah. Less stuff we have to take down. So that goes on the bottom. This is what we use to cover ourselves with. A nice king size fluffy blanket. Can I just make up the bed? How you make up a bed? Now we're looking in here. To the side. I'm just about done. All right. Yep. These are our pillows that we use when we're in the tent. But we have bigger pillows that I left for my sister. But that's okay. But I'm going to buy some more today. <laughs> you talking about those small pillows? <laughs> yeah, they're too small. Yeah, they are extremely small. But they get the job done, but they're still too small. Rich, have a big head for that little bit of pillow. Really? I'm outside, but I can hear you. <laughs> and this is the final blanket right here. that we put on top. This is our rumple, rumple blanket. If you want to invest in one of these, I suggest that you do. It keeps you extremely warm on those really cold nights when you're camping. 
Okay. So what we did was we downsized to the queen size mattress, not only so that we could be all cozy and up under one another. <laughs> we have more room to put stuff on. Like a shelf. Like right? a shelf. That's and we're going to get the say. second shelf from here also. Yeah. So there you have it. That's what's on the inside of patches and how we set patches up on the inside. Yeah, we, we love motorcycle camping. We love camping oh. in general and Go ahead. doing it all our life. Exactly. That is it. That's all we have for you today on this vid in this video of how we set patches up and set it up on the, from the inside and what was in our storage bin. So remember, if you're out there riding, go camping because you have all the knowledge and the power to do that. So we're out. I'm Kate with Boots and Jeans Riders. And there's Rich. Rich. Look at Rich. This is what he's doing. So we can have some shed to sit up under. Rich, you gonna tell the people bye? Rich, tell the people bye. Peace. <laughs> Peace.